Ability to play the best PC games from anywhere is huge, but when looking for your ideal handheld gaming PC, there's more to consider beyond CPU and GPU, like RAM storage, controller input type, and software overlays. So in this video, we've composed a brief consumer guide and reviewed the top five best handled gaming consoles currently available. For more information on the products, we've included links in the description box down below. Let's get started. ROG Ally Z1 Extreme. It's far from perfect, but the ROG Ally is an exceptional handheld gaming PC that delivers better performance than the Steam Deck. It also boasts full PC compatibility thanks to the fact it's a Windows device, but that's ultimately both a blessing and a curse when it comes to the overall experience. The ROG Ally has a 1080 pixel 7 inch IPS touchscreen display with a 120 Hz refresh. The display delivers slicker visuals and surprisingly high frame rates, particularly in demanding games. At the base $599 US dollars price, the ROG Ally is equipped with the latest AMD's Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor on Zen 4 architecture, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD storage, and AMD RDNA 3 architecture-based graphics. You can upgrade and replace it with another M2 2230 SSD with a single pop-open screw. The ROG Ally plays it simple with an Xbox-style layout and traditional ABXY face button array. For added security, the handheld also features a fingerprint scanner on the power button. All in all, the ROG Ally is arguably the best Windows 11 handheld, but it's still not perfect. Valve Steam Deck a powerful, portable gaming PC that can fit in your pocket is certainly an attractive proposition. The Steam Deck offers all of the power of a high-end gaming laptop in a much smaller package. With this device, there's a huge amount of Steam games to choose from, and the 16GB of onboard RAM is more than enough power for the majority of games out there. Downsides? Some games won't work straight out of the box, and either require a little bit of tweaking on your end or the developer's end. The Steam Deck has two thumb-sized analog sticks on either side of the 7-inch LCD touchscreen. In your hands, the console does feel pretty huge in comparison to the Nintendo Switch Lite, yet it's still very comfortable to reach all of the controls, including ABXY buttons and two trackpads with haptic feedback. Besides, the Steam Deck's LCD screen runs at 1200 by 800 at 60 Hz refresh rate, and it looks really good. The console runs a form of Arch Linux, and not every game might run on it. Hence, if you don't like fiddling with the OS, it may not be for you. All in all, the Steam Deck is a well-built piece of hardware that feels good to hold and play on. When you're playing a Valve-approved game, it's actually incredible to get this kind of performance out of a device so small and compact. Lenovo Legion Go The Legion Go is a bulky handheld gaming PC with a bright display and detachable controllers. At weighing 1.88 pounds with the controllers attached, the Legion Go is relatively large and in charge. Its plastic chassis feels sturdy. This console has a gigantic IPS screen 8.8 inches, 2560 by 1600 pixel resolution, and up to a 144 Hz refresh rate. It's overkill, but feels luxurious. Alongside its already mentioned display, it's built with an AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and 512 gigabytes, or one terabyte of SSD, for anywhere between 699 US dollars to 749 US dollars. With specs like that, you'd expect great performance. One of the most unique features of the Legion Go is its FPS mode. This feature basically turns the right controller into a mouse, that navigates an on-screen cursor or crosshair while slide the controller around on a surface. Apart from that, the Legion Go packs a 49.2 watt-hour battery. Lenovo has based the Legion Go on Windows 11, and Legion Space software comes installed on the Legion Go and can be accessed by the slanting buttons on either side of the screen. All in all, the Legion Go is a creative portable PC that delivers innovative features, though they aren't always the most practical ideas. Ayaneo 2. 
If you're not working on a budget, the Ayaneo 2 is the best handheld gaming PC on the market you might never have heard of. The high price is a lot to handle, but for that, you get incredible performance, sleek ergonomics, and a design that lends itself to hours of play. The console is powered by AMD Ryzen 7 6800U, which comes with the Radeon 680M graphics. The 680M is capable of playing games at 1080 pixel in low to medium settings. The base variant of the Ayaneo 2 comes with 16GB of RAM and 512GB SSD storage, which is expandable using M2 2280. At 1,100 US dollars, the Ayaneo 2 isn't exactly affordable, and experts may argue that the Steam Deck is still a better choice, which it is. But if you can afford the Ayaneo 2, you certainly won't regret buying the handheld gaming console. Apart from that, it also has a higher TDP of up to 25 watt, and powering that is a 50 watt hour battery. Like most gaming handhelds, the Ayaneo 2 comes with an integral piece of customization software called Aya Space. Inside this software, you can launch games, customize the programmable buttons, configure the joysticks, and update the firmware for its different components. All in all, the Ayaneo 2 is a major step forward from the Ayaneo Next and Steam Deck, and it feels almost as good as it plays. It's expensive, but excellent. Nintendo Switch OLED The original Switch is a fantastic device, but it has a couple of minor flaws. The screen isn't the best quality, and its flimsy kickstand isn't super sturdy and can break easily. Fortunately, both of these are fixed with 350 US dollars for the Switch OLED. The new 7-inch OLED display is the most prominent new design feature. Games look more vibrant as a result, and there's improved detail in darker scenes. The Switch OLED is still made of plastic in the main chassis, but it feels far nicer than its predecessor, with a firmer build that's better able to hide fingerprint smudge marks. The speakers have also been enhanced, with louder and more detailed sound. Sure, the Switch's innards aren't exactly impressive, but they ultimately get the job done. The NVIDIA Tegra X1 SoC packs enough of a punch to provide 1080 pixel 30 FPS visuals, and playing in handheld mode reduces the burden in some demanding games. Internal storage is 64 gigabytes, twice that of the base model Switch, while the fascia buttons and kickstand have been revamped. You're now able to adjust the position of the kickstand more granularly and can rotate it up to around 145 degrees, while the power button, volume rocker, exhaust vent, and game card slot have been tweaked slightly. All in all, if you can afford it, we'd recommend buying this OLED model over the original Nintendo Switch, simply because the screen makes portable gaming beautiful.